Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. So Aquarius, I'm going to pull on some general energy for you. Remember not everything is going to resonate. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. Also Aquarius, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell in order to receive notifications when I post. So let's go ahead and jump into it. If you would like a personal reading or distance reiki healing, the information is below in the description box. Also, Remember, not everything is going to resonate. Just take what does, apply it to your, to your life, and leave the rest. So, Spirit, give me some overall messages for Aquarius. Messages for Aquarius. Overall energy. Sentimental feelings, okay. So you may find yourself very emotional at this time. For some of you, you could be grieving, grieving the loss of someone. Yeah, support, yeah. Someone is definitely grieving at this time. I feel like with the support, you may be having a lot of people around you, family, friends, trying to help you get through um, whatever this circumstance is that you are upset about you know whatever have you in your emotions at this time and then at the bottom look what i have grief work so somebody is very emotional like is grieving yeah grieving the loss of a situation of someone definitely my condolences um but yeah someone like i heard reach out to family and friends i'm also hearing the song reach out and touch somebody's hand so yeah for some of you you may need to reach out for support you may need to be um in a support group or looking for a support group i'm also getting looking for a place to call home for someone you could be experiencing displacement at this time let's get some more energy Spirit, give me some more messages for Aquarius. Yeah, but somebody's like in sorrow. Like somebody's in, in deep grief. What do I have? Yeah, loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. So somebody definitely feels um, isolated. Um, somebody feels left alone. Again, I'm looking at, you know, these women and it's just something about support. Somebody needs support at this time. I heard somebody doesn't feel supported. At the bottom of the deck, I have friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. So yeah, for some of you, this could be um, something dealing with a friend. This could be a friend offering you support. Let's get another overall energy. Give me another message for Aquarius. I have love. It's not about finding love. You are love itself. Help me, Lord, to send so much compassion and caring to the inner child that I always remember I myself am love. So for some of you, this could just be about you needing to heal your inner child. You could be reflecting back on a lot of childhood traumas, experiences. I'm also getting relationship. For some of you, you could be grieving the loss of a connection. Let's get another message. At the bottom of the deck, I have divine courage. It's not the absence of fear, but a nudge that says, keep going, do it. Don't worry, all will be well. You have to get quiet enough to hear it. Dear divine, may I feel your courage and your will. So yeah, somebody needs courage to overcome um, their emotions. Somebody feels stuck. Somebody definitely feels at a loss when it comes to a, a situation. Somebody is grieving and it's going to take someone's courage to help them overcome whatever this challenging situation is. And again, there's something very significant about support. You having the support of your, of your loved ones, of your friends. I heard a friend group. Let's go ahead and get into your energy. Spirit, tell me more for Aquarius. Give me some more messages for Aquarius.
what is the current energy for Aquarius okay I have the seven of wands so somebody just could be um protecting their energy fields at this time going within doing a lot of reflection then I have the hierophant in the reverse Taurus energy and the two of cups in the reverse so for some of you, this could be about a relationship. Somebody could be pulling back their energy, resisting someone, resisting a relationship. Somebody could be in the midst of a divorce or saying that they want out. Give me one more. One more message for Aquarius. What do I have? Oh, the tower. So there definitely is some unexpected change. Scorpio energy. So you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Scorpio. Yeah. I'm also hearing Pisces. Um, somebody could also be dealing with a Pisces. But yeah. An unexpected change. Somebody wasn't, I mean, look at the squirrel. Like, oh, I wasn't expecting this. Like this happened suddenly out of the blue. So somebody could have came to you and said they no longer want to be with you. They don't want to be married or this could be you. But whatever this is, as far as somebody putting an end to a connection, somebody was caught off guard. Somebody was not expecting this tower. Let's go ahead and go a little bit deeper. Spirit, tell me more about the Seven of Wands for Aquarius. <laughs> What do I have? Okay, so I have leaving it behind, leaving the past behind, and Thanksgiving, something significant about this holiday. So I feel like somebody's definitely choosing to leave a relationship. Somebody, I'm getting like packing their bags and I'm out of here. Somebody's gone. Somebody's like, uh-uh, this is over. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have New Year's, something significant about this holiday. Laundry. So it's like out with the old and with the new. Yeah, somebody is like... Saying, I don't want to do this anymore. Somebody wants a brand new start. Tell me more about leaving it behind. For Aquarius. Leaving it behind for Aquarius. Ooh. So I have the Knight of Wands. So somebody's ready for a passionate new beginning. Somebody is like ready to take off. Somebody is just very, um, very focused. Like they're looking straight ahead. They're not looking to their left, to their right. Like somebody knows what they want. Tell me about, tell me more about leaving it behind. Laser focus. That's the word I'm looking for. Tell me more about leaving it behind. <laughs> the lovers yeah for some of you this is somebody walking away from a relationship to come towards you lovers for some of you, you could be dealing with a gemini but somebody wants a connection with you or you want a connection with this person this gemini so it's like you're leaving the past behind you're walking away from that and you're entering into a brand new cycle or this is what you desire to do somebody's also been working on themselves and healing as well tell me more about thanksgiving yeah i have the moon in the reverse in the two of wands so somebody could actually be relocating i'm also getting somebody finally like sees the truth when it comes to a situation like with this thanksgiving i'm just getting um somebody is very thankful like they're very grateful for whatever has been came out i heard exposure for whatever has been exposed because whatever came out aquarius it's allowing you to move forward i feel like somebody is now able to choose something that is going to be able to give them more like something like a better opportunity for them or you're able to choose a better opportunity for you give me some energy for the lovers tell me about the lovers for Aquarius so I have the eight of wands in the reverse so 
you could not you're not communicating with this person you could be blocked or this person could have blocked you but there's definitely no communication for some of you i heard a while so it's been a while since you've heard from this person Somebody is also like with the seven of pentacles at the bottom in the reverse and the ace of pentacles. Somebody is also like regretting not investing into a situation, not extending an offer. Like, yeah, somebody's looking at what they gave to and somebody's living in regret. Whatever someone invested in or whoever someone invested in, like it really didn't bear any fruit. It did not pay off. Like it was just an empty investment. Um, it didn't grow. It didn't go anywhere. Tell me about the moon. Pisces. Cancer energy. Tell me about the moon. For Aquarius. The moon for Aquarius. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. Sagittarius energy. So for some of you, whatever is getting ready to come in or whatever you're getting ready to walk away from is time. Like this is divine time and like it's time for this situation to end. It's time for a new cycle to begin. This is all happening in divine time. And yeah, somebody's going to get justice. Um, I heard somebody's bringing you justice. And also for a lot of you, this is going to be a reconciliation a rebirth somebody went through a rebirth somebody went through a transformation somebody has changed somebody's been doing the work somebody's been doing a lot of healing somebody's been doing their shadow work tell me about the two of wands The King of Cups. So yeah, for some of you, you could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. But it's like with this King of Cups, they're ready to move forward. Like, I heard no more delays. So Aquarius, whatever has been delayed, Spirit is saying all obstacles are removed. So this person, I heard permitted. Okay. So for some of you, I heard rejection. So this is somebody who could have rejected you or you could have rejected this person, flip it as, you know, you fit into this message. Um, but it's like this person was held back from you until they did their healing and my ears are getting heavy. This person was held back from you until they did their healing work until they transformed this person had to change before god before spirit would allow this person to come towards you this person had to balance out their emotions they had to work on themselves they had to move on from the past and also with this eight of wands i'm getting they had to cut people off from their past as well because they are entertaining they were still entertaining other energies they had to block these people or this person before they can move forward before they can have this new beginning this new cycle so it's like now is the time it is time for things to progress between you and this person it's time for this person to come in i'm hearing moving on up to the east side by george jefferson yeah somebody's ready to move on up somebody um has done their work and now god is giving them the okay to come forward because they have done their work they've done their shadow work they've healed so this was about somebody just working on themselves and getting rid of any toxicities things that no longer serve them things that are just hindrances but somebody definitely wants to move forward this person could also live at a distance but there definitely has been no communication between you and this person. This person also may have recently purchased a new home as well. That for some of you, this person is going to be asking you to come live with them. Come stay with me. Let's get some energy for the Hierophant in the reverse. 
Oh, okay. Mirroring, experiencing similar energy. So, um, you and this person or... this person and whoever they were dealing with like it's if it's how do i say this so i'm getting two scenarios this could be you and this person thinking about each other i'm hearing swv you're always on my mind so aquarius you and this person are thinking about each other you want to be together the other scenario that God has given me is that this person and whoever they were dealing with um they didn't really like each other they didn't want to be together but they just stayed they stayed in an unhealthy situation there was really no love there I heard no love lost yeah they didn't really want to be with each other like they felt the same way they were both unhappy in the relationship in the marriage or this could be you but at the bottom of the deck, I have new view, seeing things from a higher perspective. But now this person has clarity or you have clarity about the situation. It's like somebody saying, I don't have to stay in something I don't want to be in. I don't have to be in an in a unhealthy relationship or unhealthy marriage. I don't have to be there. Because it's like neither one of you were happy. Both of you wanted to leave, but nobody actually took that initial step. To tell the other person how they really felt. To put an ending to the situation. I'm hearing misery loves company. Yeah, both of you were miserable. And both of you were keeping each other company. Let's clarify. Spirit, tell me about mirroring or Aquarius. Like, both of you were miserable. Misery loves company. Y'all was both keeping each other company. Both miserable, unhappy. Didn't want to be there. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles in the reverse and the chariot. But somebody say, uh, uh I'm done. Somebody's moving on. For some of you, you be dealing with a cancer. Yeah, a cycle is closing the world. A major cycle is coming to an end. Because somebody's listening to their intuition. Somebody's trusting themselves. And then I have the King of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles, I heard you work hard for the money. So somebody's a hard worker. Somebody is very stable financially, very abundant. Somebody also likes to dress well. This person could also be very materialistic. And I'm getting like, um, all hell the king. So this person likes to be praised, put on a pedestal. Like this person like really operates out of their ego. They can be egotistical at times. And flashy. That's what Spirit says. And flashy. But somebody was connected to a Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody who can really provide for themselves. It was just imbalance. They were married to this person. Or in a higher level of commitment with this person. But somebody just couldn't deliver in this relationship. This King of Pentacles was the stable one. Was the one providing. Was the hard worker in the connection. While this person just did was take. Like, literally, they sat on their rear and did nothing. And this person just took care of them, gave to them. But now somebody's trusting their intuition, trusting their higher self, and closing out a cycle. Because they're like, I'm not happy. Mirroring, neither one of these people were happy, but this person just stayed so he or she could continue being taken care of. I heard opportunist. Give me some energy for... This Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. For some of you, you could have been dealing with a Taurus. I'm just getting heavy Taurus energy. What do I have? Queen of Cups. Somebody was emotionally imbalanced. Somebody was emotionally unstable, financially unstable. And then we have the Seven of Wands. I feel like this person um, is starting to protect themselves from this energy. I also see where this energy is like resisting the change. Um, they're trying to stop this person from leaving. They're putting up a fight. They don't want this person to go. 
I'm hearing immature baby please don't go yeah give me some messages for the chariot the two of cups oh yeah they're done it's a wrap somebody's moving on somebody's saying i'm out of here five of pentacles somebody's leaving this person out in the cold and one thing about it is that this person was taking care of this queen of pentacles in reverse so now this queen of pentacles is going to go into the five of pentacles they're going to be struggling they're going to be in lag i heard meal ticket because they viewed this person as a meal ticket but the ticket has expired For some of you, um, this person, you know, with the Queen of Wands, this person could have used their looks, could have used sex to get money out of this person. But that's over. This person also likes to start a lot of um, drama and confusion. They like to create a lot of chaos all the time. I heard like 24-7 is always something. But I also heard drought. This person is getting ready to go through a drought. Or is already going through a drought. Because somebody's putting an end to the situation. I heard I can't take it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> so somebody can't take it. It's too much. It's becoming too overwhelming. Tell me about the two of cups in the reverse. upgrade your life is about to have an upgrade so yeah somebody's walking away from a situation that really was not working was not for their highest good and they're getting something better god is giving this person a better opportunity and then again at the bottom of the deck i have new view because somebody has changed their perspective on life and on love on relationships they're also seeing that somebody was just toxic somebody's done their healing and now they're ready. God said, I can upgrade you now. I can give you what you want now. Because you prepared yourself. Tell me more about upgrade. For Aquarius. What do I have? The nine of wands. Somebody has surrendered. Somebody was like very stubborn. Like somebody, um, yeah, thought they knew it all. Somebody thought they knew everything and they realized they didn't. Somebody surrendered. Somebody could be dealing with, um, their baby mom. Somebody could have been living with this person. Or just living with somebody who... Okay, Spirit says who portrayed themselves as queen. So for some of you, this person pretended to be an empress in the upright. Like they had it all together. They were balanced emotionally, financially. They was a go-getter. They made good decisions. This person portrayed themselves to be an empress in the upright when they were actually an empress in the reverse. And for a lot of you, they were in a commitment with this person. They lived together for some of you. But now where this person was like resisting to see the truth in the situation, now the truth is all they could see with the nine of wands being in the reverse. For some of you, like this person may have tried to like defend this relationship with this empress in the reverse. I heard tell themselves a lie. So this person was just lying to themselves because the truth was there all along, but this person refused to see. That's why we had a new view. Now they see. Tell me more about Upgrade. The ace of wands so yeah somebody's resisting somebody but some of you this person is no longer um sleeping with this energy however with this nine of wands i'm getting like this energy just um tries to throw themselves at this person or tries to throw themselves at you let's clarify further spirit tell me about the nine of wands The four of wands. So somebody's moving out.
and somebody's devastated ten of swords in reverse everything is fine in the reverse yeah like this person can't even pretend somebody's devastated tell me more about the nine of wands in the reverse for Aquarius the sun Somebody's going towards your happiness. They're going towards their fulfillment. Yeah, but the other person is burdened. Ten of Wands. Somebody's still trying to hold on. Like, somebody don't want to let this person go. They're still trying to hold on. Like, they're going to give it one last ditch effort. They're going to do whatever they got to do. They're going to hold on to this. Somebody's trying to pull someone back. Somebody's trying to stop someone from getting away. Because they know this person is going towards their wish fulfillment. Going towards their happiness. For some of you with the Four of Pentacles in reverse, I'm hearing like this person may still be taking care of this energy or still may be giving money to this person. Or this person is trying to hold on because they want the cash flow to continue. They don't want this person to stop giving to them because they can't take care of themselves. This person is just trying to hold on to the money. They literally see this person as a cash cow, as a meal ticket. Tell me about... The Ace of Wands in the reverse for Aquarius. The Ten of Wands. Ten of Cups, sorry. The Fool. So somebody's holding back. Somebody's not taking any action. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands in the reverse. What do I have? The Nine of Cups. Ah, so somebody's waiting on their wish fulfillment. Somebody could be um, celibate. Somebody could be practicing celibacy. They could not be doing anything sexual. Yeah, somebody's waiting on their wish fulfillment. Somebody's resisting temptation. Yeah. With the full in the reverse, like this this person, Aquarius energy, like this is this <laughs> your energy, but in the reverse. But I feel like somebody's learning self-control. Like somebody's learning discipline where... Normally, this person or you would like jump into something. Somebody's learning how to control, you know, their urges. For some of you, this person could have had a sex addiction. Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower for Aquarius. What do I have? Balance. The situation needs more balance. Yeah. I heard destructive. I feel like whatever this person was into or you were into... Um, it was just destructive. It was just time for this to occur. Again, going back to that will of fortune, it's just divine timing for this situation to end. It's just, it's done. It's over. I heard overplayed. It's been overplayed. It's been overdone. Like, I heard redo. Somebody kept trying to redo a situation. It's just, uh, it's, I'm also hearing all cried out. It's like, it's done. It's finito. It's, it's. <laughs> I mean, it's like trying to reuse a napkin about 50 times and it got all these stains on it. It's on crumbled up. It got some tears in it. Yeah, it's just, it's overdone. <laughs> this is overdue, whatever this is. There was a lack of balance when it came to the situation. And then look at the bottom. I have growth. You will grow from this situation. So yeah, I feel like for some of you, this person just needed to learn a lesson or you just needed to learn a lesson. Yeah, this was just about a learning experience, but it helps someone grow. It helps someone to reflect. 
Um, with this access denied, blocking communication, this person could have the other energy blocked or you could have blocked this person. Let's go ahead and go a little bit deeper. Spirit, tell me more about balance. Tell me more about balance for Aquarius. And I'm just hearing like, let your friends help you. So for some of you, like this person could be um, talking to their friends. I heard approach, okay, about how to approach you. I heard how to get back into your good graces. Tell me more about balance for Aquarius. The Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody's deciding to no longer work on a situation anymore. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So there could have been a lot of, um, I heard pettiness, copycat energy, um, a lot of competition. And then you're at the bottom, the star. So I feel like Aquarius, you could have people competing with you. Um, you very beautiful, attractive. You're very balanced. Yeah, you are a healer. You could also be doing something online, get a lot of views in the public eye. But there was people competing against you. But if you look at her, she's over here, you know, just watering her grass and pouring water into this little lake here. Like you're reminding your business. You did not even engage in the competition. Tell me more about balance. Yeah, like you were just tending to your own garden. You wasn't even worried about what was going on around you. Give me another message for balance. I have the Hierophant in the reverse and the Four of Swords. So yeah, we have the Hierophant twice. So this is definitely the ending of a marriage for some of you, a higher level of commitment, but I feel like somebody's stressing out. Somebody's deciding to no longer work on a situation. A situation needs more balance. Yeah, a situation just isn't working. But somebody's very um, worried, stressed about this. Somebody could literally be in their head a lot. Yeah, somebody's also very emotional. Um... I'm also getting somebody's like surrounded by a lot of chaos, a lot of drama. It's just a lot going on around this person. A lot of competition, a lot of pettiness, cattiness. Yeah, a lot of low vibrational um, feminine energies with this empress in the reverse. Yeah, a lot of low vibrational feminine energies. But I feel like with the seven of swords in the reverse, like the truth is being seen about this person about these energies also a truth is getting ready to come out as well yeah somebody was very competitive i'm also getting somebody somebody was very catty they wanted to keep someone like from seeing the truth yeah let's clarify the eight of pentacles in the reverse The nine of pentacles, yeah. Somebody um, just wanted to be taken care of. Somebody's just not self-sufficient. Somebody doesn't work. Somebody could have also lost their job as well. And fell on, I heard hardship, hard times. I'm also getting with the page of pentacles. Somebody could have been demoted. Somebody like is working for like less money. Very specific message. Tell me about the Hierophant in the reverse. The Hierophant in the reverse. The Hermit Virgo. Okay. Earth signs. Yeah, somebody's going through a divorce. Somebody's going through a separation. Somebody has completely like retreated. Recalled the energy. Somebody was betrayed. Yes, yeah, somebody was backstabbed, hurt. For some of you, this could have been a third-party situation. 
Yeah, I feel like with the death, I heard keep happening. So someone kept betraying someone. Someone kept backstabbing someone. Somebody kept doing the same thing over and over again. Somebody didn't know when to stop. Somebody was like manipulating the situation to get someone to keep coming back to them. Eight of Cups. These eight cups. Somebody could have tried to do this eight times. Or someone could have came back eight times. But somebody tried to get someone to continually come back to them. And now this person is stressed out in the Nine of Swords. They're worried. Having anxiety. Staying up at night. Yeah, because they know something over. I heard there is no partnership. Six of Pentacles. Spirit says there is no partnership. This person is not given to the situation anymore. Tell me more about this hermit. For Aquarius. Tell me more about this hermit. For Aquarius. Okay. Three of swords, ten of swords, everything is fine, came out. So yeah. Yeah, somebody um I heard ghosted, ghosted a situation. Somebody um is just to themselves. Somebody don't want to be bothered. Yeah. Somebody was definitely betrayed. Somebody's just healing from this betrayal, from being backstabbed. Yeah. Um, I'm getting this written all over your face. Somebody feels lonely. Somebody feels rejected. Somebody feels like an outcast as well. It's written all over your face. Everything is fine in the reverse. It's like, you can literally see it in this person's face that they're not okay. That they're upset. Somebody could be very emotional, crying a lot. I heard crying off and on. Yeah, it's written all over your face. You don't have to say a word. So this person don't have to say that they're hurt, that they're bothered. It's in this person's face. You can just see it over them. You can feel it in their energy. It's written all over this person's face that they experienced a loss or heartbreak. Somebody's deep in their emotions right now. Somebody can't control themselves. I heard uncontrollably crying. Somebody I heard also sits in the dark. At night, they sit alone. I heard with the windows closed, the blinds closed. Somebody could also be drinking a lot as well. I heard I can't believe this. Yeah, somebody's in disbelief about what happened. Spirit says there's no understanding. Yeah, this person doesn't have understanding for whatever the situation is, whatever this betrayal is. For some of you with the Three of Cups, this could have to do with a friend group or people teaming up. Yeah. To betray someone, spread rumors, lies about someone, a group of people, up to three. I'm also hearing three or more. Somebody lied. Give me something on this Ten of Swords in the reverse. What is this Ten of Swords? Two of Pentacles. Mm. Seven of Cups. Somebody lied. Somebody didn't tell the truth. Somebody wanted to keep someone in, a, in an illusion. And they were invested into this. Like somebody kept on going. Like how she juggling, somebody kept on going. Somebody kept trying to keep up with the lie. Somebody was dishonest. I heard untrustworthy. Just to get someone to come back to them. King of Wands, Eight of Cups. For some of you, you could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Just to get someone to keep coming back to them. 
Tell me about the Four of Swords in the reverse. Somebody kept up with the lie or tried to keep up with the lie, the illusion, the dishonesty, temperance, Sagittarius. So this could have to do with the Sagittarius. But somebody's stressed out. I heard somebody hasn't been feeling like themselves lately. Tell me more about this Four of Swords for Aquarius. The Six of Swords. Oh, wow. I am hearing I'm going away. I'm going away. The gospel song, I'm going away. So somebody could literally be going away. I heard untimely. Untimely death. Demise. I'm going away. Tell me more about temperance. Somebody's going away. Tell me more about temperance. Five of Wands. Somebody's trying to fight against what this is. Tell me more about temperance. I'm going away. Somebody's going away. I can literally hear that gospel song. If you know what song I'm talking about, like, I'm going away. I forgot what choir sings that song, but somebody's going away. Tell me more about temperance. The Three of Pentacles. This was definitely um, a work group, like a collaboration, a team of people working together. Tell me about the Six of Swords in the reverse. Somebody kept doing something over and over. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. The Page of Swords. Yeah, somebody kept lying. Somebody kept gossiping. Like, they wouldn't walk away. They kept doing it over and over again. Yes, they wanted someone to feel rejected and isolated. I'm also getting with this four of cups, like whatever this person was doing, it just wouldn't work. Like it was rejected. Whatever this person was doing. Tell me more about the six of swords. This could be a group of people that kept lying. The page of cups. All I heard is this is who started the lie. So somebody started a lie and it just took off from there. And I heard latch on. Other people just kind of um, latched on to the lie. You know, like the game telephone. Like that's how it started. This person started the lie, started the rumor. And everybody else kind of added to it. Everybody else kind of added a piece to it. Yeah, somebody could have been doing some type of spell work manipulation. And somebody's stressed out now. Somebody's in a nine of swords. Somebody's very scared. I'm just getting like a very scared energy. Somebody's in fear. Whatever this person did, like it wasn't successful. I keep hearing I'm going away. Somebody's going away. Yeah. Someone is going away. Well, I'm going to do one on this page of cups. And then we'll close it out at Aquarius. Tell me about the page of cups.
the Five of Cups in the reverse. With the Ten of Wands. At the bottom of the deck. Okay, so with the Five of Cups and Ten of Wands. I'm just hearing tragedy. Whatever somebody tried to do to you, Aquarius, like it didn't work. Five of Cups in reverse. Like you came out unscathed. So now this person is burdened. This person, oh, okay. Spirit said they did it to themselves. They did it to themselves. So whatever this person did, whatever manipulation, um, magic, um, gossip, rumors, spirit is saying they did it to themselves. Nobody did it to this person. Nobody put this person in anguish and grief but them. They did it to themselves. That is what spirit is saying. So let's pull you some final messages. Spirit, give me some final energy for Aquarius. Sunstone, take pleasure in the things you do. So yeah, Aquarius, um, whatever it is, mm, whatever this person did, they took pleasure in it. They were happy to do it. This person was happy to do whatever it is that they was doing to you. They did it to themselves. They burdened themselves. But see, while they were trying to burden you, they were happy. They took pleasure in it. Red Jasper at the bottom, take action, yeah. Somebody took action to cause grief challenges. Yeah, take action like <sighs> this person was laser focused. They wanted to accomplish a certain outcome. And ended up burdening themselves. Let's get one more. One more energy for Aquarius. What do I have? Let all that you do be done in love. 1 Corinthians 16, 14. So yes, let all that you do be done in love. See, this person wasn't acting out of love. They were acting out of jealousy, malice, envy. They just wanted to start something. They just wanted to burden someone. Yeah, let all that you do, all. Not just some things, but all things. Let all that you do be done in love. They didn't get the message. They didn't act from love. And that's why there's a struggle, there's a challenge. And I keep hearing I'm going away. Somebody is going away. So, Aquarius, these are your messages. I hope they resonate. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.